Can chickens eat bread? Are there other foods they can't have? Today we're going to look at three foods you definitely shouldn't feed your chickens and some foods that are fantastic treats. G'day there, I'm Dana from Pewakuka Valley Homestead. Today we're going to feed the chickens and we're going to have a wee chat about things you can and can't feed them. It's often said that chickens are basically uh, two-legged pigs but really that's not the way we should be feeding them. Feed time with the chickens is incredibly competitive, especially if you're feeding them fresh, fresh food. They'll fight over it, but they won't necessarily take much notice of what it is you're feeding them. The aim of the game when you're feeding chickens is to make sure that they're eating their nutrient-dense food before you're feeding them treats. One of the common things that people try to feed chickens is bread. While bread's often freely available to feed your chickens, it's actually not a very nutrient-dense option. And the problem with bread is that it can ball up in their crop. And two problems. One, it can cause sour crop because of all the sugar and the yeast in it. It can upset the balance, the gut bacteria. It makes the whole gut too alkaline, which means sour crop can set in. Sour crop can make your chickens incredibly sick and they can actually die from it. The other problem with bread is it has a tendency to ball up in their crop and cause a blockage, which of course is not a healthy option um, and again the chickens can die from it. Overall bread is not actually that great a choice. If you decide to feed your chickens bread, soaking it in some apple cider vinegar the night before is actually the best option. Apple cider vinegar will increase the acidity so it won't um, upset the gut bacteria quite the same and it also helps break down the natural fibres that happen in the bread so it's less likely to cause a blockage. Milk is another common one that people often feed chickens they think of chickens being similar to pigs and pigs of course will thrive quite happily off large amounts of leftover milk but the reality is chickens are actually slightly lactose intolerant and too much of it will give them an upset tummy Shh. and they can end up quite dehydrated and sick many well-meaning uh, chicken owners will also try and feed their chickens uh, porridge, thinking it's a great way of saving, great way of saving some money. Porridge actually contains a product called beta glucans, which <laughs> ducks stealing the chicken food, which can cause quite a sludge in the chicken's guts. And this sludge can cause blockages, and it can cause bacteria overgrowth. Now oats in themselves are quite high in protein, and are often added to chicken mash, but cooked porridge, especially cold cooked porridge, you can imagine just how how gelatinous and globby that is. It's that gelatinous part of it that can cause the problems. So there are three foods that you definitely should try and avoid that are quite commonly fed to chickens. There are other foods that are less commonly fed on purpose but often end up in vegetable scraps. Things like onions and garlic. You can feed them onions and garlic but you may find that your laying hen's eggs end up tasting a little bit garlicky or a little bit oniony. Green potatoes, well we don't like eating them, um, and potato skins, especially if they've got green on them. Chickens can't digest that, there's stuff in it called solene, which the chickens can't digest and if they have too much of it, it ends up quite toxic. So it's best if you have leftover potatoes or those tiny little potatoes that no one wants to eat, that you cook them up and feed them to the chickens that way. Same with beans, uh, green beans are fine. But if you've got dried beans or slightly undercooked beans, they've got a toxin in them as well that, again, too much of it can build up in their system and make them really sick. Avocado is an interesting one. We've always thrown our avocado skins and scraps and pits to the chickens and never actually had a problem. I didn't realise that they weren't meant to eat them for quite a long time. Obviously, if you can find somewhere else to put those scraps, that would be better. If you've got an excess of eggs, one way of using them is actually to feed them back to the chickens. But of course the thing you don't want to do is feed them whole eggs or raw eggs because that can encourage chickens to eat their own eggs, which is less than ideal. We had a, quite a major problem with chickens eating their own eggs and it turns out it was because we were giving our leftover shells back to them to eat. So we've stopped doing that, we crush them up now and this next batch of chickens don't seem to be having such a problem with it. If you do want to feed your chickens back their eggs, if you do have an excess or you have some that probably are a little too old for human consumption but are still fine, what you can do is either scramble them or boil them and mash them up and give them back to them. They were totally unrecognisable and they'll quite happily eat them. There are quite a few things that you can feed your chickens as treats. Things like watermelon, especially if it's been in the fridge. Um, grapes are a great treat for chickens as well. You throw them a few grapes and watch them fight over them. Slugs and worms, mealworms make a really great treat for them. 
you can actually and roosters you can actually uh, grow your own mealworms my daughter grows them for her, one of her lizards uh, and they're really easy to keep they're really clean to keep you just need a couple of drawers to keep them in a pl plastic drawers not her bedroom drawers or you can buy them dry those extra high protein sources are brilliant when your chickens are in molt if a chicken's molting they need extra support and extra protein they probably will go off the lay for a while but the faster you can get them to grow back their feathers, the faster they'll get back on the lay. So the best way of doing that is to give them high protein feed. Other really good uh, treat options are weeds, whoops, I'm falling, weeds out of the garden. Uh, ours love chickweed, that's obviously a chicken favourite given its name. But even grass, they love grass, you can give them fresh grass clippings if they're not able to free range. Pretty much any fruit and vegetable that you can eat, other than avocados and green potatoes, uh, you can feed to your chickens and they'll really enjoy them. Foods like oranges, try and feed it to them, they just won't eat it. Uh, rhubarb leaves, definitely don't feed them that. Rhubarb leaves are quite toxic. Uh, the rhubarb stalks themselves, if it's been cooked, they'll quite happily eat that. If you can let your chickens free range, obviously they're going to enjoy eating whatever they come across. Chickens can only taste bitter things, and so if it tastes bitter to them, they just won't eat it. And generally speaking, most toxic foods are quite bitter. So that's pretty much it from me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. We bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food. And if you like this video, if you've got any questions or comments or any other treats that your chickens love to eat, stick it in the comments below. And I'd love it if you would share this video with other people that you might know that would enjoy it. We'll see you in the next one.